Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to get rich melanin skin tone and I'll also be giving you a free lot, but you can't get this amazing result by just applying the lot. So watch through this video to learn the full process. With no further ado, let's get started. If you look at this image, you can see that the skin tone is too warm. Melanin skin tone is not supposed to be this one. So to fix that, we are going to duplicate the background layer. And we are going to rename this color correct. And we are going to come to filter, camera raw filter. In the camera raw filter, we are going to reduce the temperature to remove the warmth from the skin tone. And while reducing the temperature, can see that there's now too much magenta in the skin tone so we are going to use the tint slider to reduce the magenta by moving it to the left by introducing green into the image just like this so right now if you take a look at the before and the after we can see that we are heading towards the right direction now click on ok to come back into photoshop now to make the end result look superb we are going to retouch this image don't worry, we are not going to use the old, long, tedious method. I'll show you a one-click approach to retouch your image. We are going to flatten the image right now by right-clicking on the layer, flatten image. If you go to your action panel, auto fix FS action. If you click on the auto fix FS action, I click on the play button. Voila, you are going to get this superb result. This was the before and this is the after. Now let's zoom in very closely, take a look at the before, and now you can see the after. The autofix FS action is going to automatically fix your skin, it's going to retouch your skin with just one click. You can get the autofix FS action, link is in the description. It's just $1, so if you like to support the channel with $1, you get the autofix FS action that will save you time and give you great results in your retouching. I see the before and the after. Now the next thing we are going to do, we are going to dodge and burn this image. And we are going to do it easily. So if you have the dodge and burn action, you just click on it. And you are going to see the dodge and burn action. If you don't have it, it's very easy to create. If this is just a curve layer that we increase the mid-tone for the dodge and reduce the mid-tone for the burn so that we can now brighten areas that needs to be brightened using the brush. Make sure your foreground is white. The flow should be five. And now we are going to paint on the areas that are supposed to shine, like these highlights right here. I'm just enhancing the highlights to make the image pop and look more three-dimensional. It's very easy to do. We just rub on these areas like this. And now if you come to the bone, we are going to burn these areas. We are going to contour these areas so that it brings out the dimension of the face more and it's super easy to do just set your opacity 100 flow 5 and then paint on these areas like this to dodge and burn your image so you can see the before and the after you can see the before and the after now to make this look more even and beautiful you are going to come to your Properties and now we are going to feather the dodge. We are also going to do the same thing for the bone. We are going to feather the bone so that it doesn't look too obvious where we drew the brush lines. Where we brushed will not look too obvious. Here was the before and here's the after. Here was the before and here is the after. You can also reduce the opacity if you like. Just like this, it's very easy to do. Now we are going to paint the teeth white, and to do that, you can just use the hue saturation adjustment the hue saturation adjustment take your brush you can see that the teeth is containing red we are going to reduce the saturation increase the brightness and also do same for the yellows Reduce the saturation increase the brightness you are going to press ctrl i or command i if you are using a pc you press ctrl i if you are using a mac you press command i to create a layer max and i'm going to paint on the teeth like this to make it look white and make the image look better. 
it's very easy to create and it's very easy to brush. If it's not brushing fast, increase your flow. And now when you paint, you get, you're going to get the result appearing way faster. So that's how to do it. Now, the next thing we are going to do, we are going to apply a lot. So the link to download the lot is in the description. So if you create a color lookup, you now load 3D lot. And if you click on load 3D lot, you are going to go to the folder where your lot is. You are going to load the lot. The lot I'll be giving you is, is the dark skin tool lot. So if you load that lot, you are going to get this beautiful result. Look at the before and the after. Just zoom in to see how transformative this lot works. This is the before and this is the after. After applying the lot, you can easily adjust the contrast of the image by adding a levels adjustment. And now you can increase the highlight like this. And now you can darken the dark areas like this. You can also adjust the mid-tone using this slider in the middle. You can increase the exposure of the mid-tone or reduce it if you like that or not. Now you change the blend mode to luminous so that this only affects the luminosity of the image and doesn't change the color. So you see before and after. Let's take a look at the general before and after. You can see here was the before and here we are right now. It's looking super amazing. If you've learned something new, please smash the like button and leave a fire emoji in the comment section. Finally, you can also remove reds from this image to make it look more dark. If you want a deep ebony melanin, you now select the skin, the reds in the skin. You can desaturate it a little bit like this. Wow. If this is the style you are going for, it also looks superb. It looks like, just looks amazing. You can now go on to remove this adjustment from areas you don't want it. Like if you want the lips to retain its red, you can take your brush foreground, it should be black, and I paint on the lips to retain the reds in the lips. That's up to you. You can see how we've transformed this image to get this beautiful melanin. You can also adjust opacity. Just take a look at the general before and after. Here was the before. And here is the after. Please subscribe to this channel because I'll be putting out more free lots, presets, actions, and amazing photography tip tricks and tutorials. Let me know your country in the comment section. I really appreciate your feedbacks. I appreciate those of you that take your time to share my videos. It really motivates me to put out more powerful tutorials like this. I hope I've transformed or helped in improving your retouching in general. If by watching my video you have gotten any value, please let me know in the comments. I really, really appreciate your feedbacks and it motivates me to put out more helpful tutorials. Really happy to be part of your creative journey. See you in another amazing tutorial.